Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this example, we have a rhombus. ABCD is a rhombus and we need to find the measure of angle ABC, which is this angle. And we also we know that the measure of angle DAC, which is this angle here, is 6x plus 8. And the measure of angles DAB, which is this angle, the big angle, is 20x minus 6. And a rhombus has a very important property, diagonal bisect opposite angle. So in this case, AC bisects angle DAB, which means this angle here, which is BAC, is congruent to angle DAC, or they have the same measure. And because they are congruent and they have the same measure, we can also write another uh, relation uh, regarding these angles and the angles DAB. I can write the measure of angles DAB equals 2 times the measure of any of those two angles, uh, DAC or BAC. So I'm going to use DAC since that is what is given in the beginning of the problem. And this geometric statement will be changed in an algebraic statement. The measure of angle DAB is 20x minus 16 equals 2 times, and the angle uh, DAC is 6x plus 8. So from here we have an algebraic equation. And the first thing I'm going to do is distributive property on the right side. So I'm going to have 20x minus 16 equals 12x plus 16. I'm going to subtract 12x. And I'm going to have 8x minus 16 here on the left side equals 16. Add 16 on both sides to cancel out the negative 16, the minus 16. And we have 8x equals 32, and the last thing to solve for x is divide by 8, which gives me x equals 4. And uh, don't forget, we need to find the measure of angles A, B, C. So we have different choices here. Uh, uh, let's say uh, I'm going to find this angle D, A, B first. And how am I going to do that? I'm going to replace uh, x with 4. So in this expression, 20x minus 16, we're going to have 20 times 4 minus 16. That will be 80 minus 16, and that will be um, 64. The measure of angles DAB is 64. And now I'm going to use this angle, which is 64, for finding the measure of angle ABC, this one, because these two angles are consecutive angles, right? The angle DAB and uh, an angle that we're looking for, ABC, are consecutive angle in this uh, rhombus, so they therefore they are supplementary. And like I said, the AB is 64 degrees. And now we can just simply subtract 64 on both sides. And we finish this problem. Measure of angle A, B, C will be uh, 6 and 116 degree. In case you do not remember this property you see here, AC bisects angle DAB, uh, at least remember that the rhombus is a parallelogram of four congruent sides. These sides are congruent. So that means we have this triangle here, DAB, DAC, and this triangle here, BAC, they are congruent, uh, both of them, they are is isosceles, and all these angles are the base angles of this isosceles 
uh, triangle are going to be equal. This is another way to do the problem. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.